Seven years ago, I hired a Bollywood actor for Biotechnica's YouTube channel. His name is Anuj Khurana and uh, he's really good with acting and uh, that time he was doing some serials with Ekta Kapoor, I think that's the name. So the reason we hired him is because I didn't know, like I'm an introvert to be very frank and I didn't know how to talk. So now what happens is Anuj starts making the videos but he is not a biotech expert which I was. So I used to write the script and you know send it to him by email and then Anuj in his free time used to record it and then he used to send it back. And then one day I got irritated because some technical terms he could not you know of course he was not from biotech so he could not spell you know pronounce properly. So I myself started shooting videos and the reason I'm telling you this story is because there are two ways of getting things done. The first is you hire someone and pay him a lot of money to do that job or you, you learn it and do it yourself. Now learning to make a video or to edit a video is very simple, right? But when it comes to the fastest moving trend in the biotech industry and that is AI ML, it requires a lot of specialized knowledge. So I'm here to talk about not just AI ML, but to tell you my personal experience that after that day, we said, Anuj, it's fine. You did a great job, but now I'll be making those videos. And I, I started doing that and uh, the result is here. But the same thing, if we apply in uh, our terms like AI ML or biotech, do you think a computer engineer like Anuj could not do biotech videos the same way do you think a computer engineer can understand biological problems? No, he can't, right? So if a company hires a computer engineer to solve biological problems, that company will fail. So that is why that company or those companies are looking for AIML researchers in biology. Now many of you, including one of my very um, dear student asked me that I don't see AIML jobs in the market. So now the thing is they will not write it as AIML, okay? We write it AIML because actually it is AIML, but they will not disclose it because in biotech industry, everything is dhaka chipa, it's hidden, right? They don't want to disclose. So if you see a job description where they're saying we're looking at Python and R, then you should understand a combination of Python and R or also only R studio also, that is AI. They are looking at data scientists, they're looking at biological data scientists. Now, the problem with all of us is we are not aware of all of this, right? So we think that there are no jobs. But the more you dig deeper, you find out that there are. So just to give you an example yesterday. So by the way, last month we have placed 77 students of Biotechnica in various biotech companies. And of course, as they shoot the testimonials, the videos are coming on Biotechnica. So yesterday we got a requirement from a company, they say, we want someone who has expertise in cancer oncology and they should have got expertise in Python and R and they should also have expertise in HTML and Java. Now we were like, we taught our students Python and R, they will have cancer biology, but they may not have HTML and uh, Java. So they were like, no, in our company, they started searching who, who knows HTML and Java. I said, it's just a one hour job. I'll sit and teach with them and they'll be ready. Now, I don't have to go outside. I know it, so I can do it, right? So that's where I wanted to tell you that if you know it, you can do things cheaper. That's number one. Number two is the hottest industry trend is hidden. They're not telling you upfront, right? For example, if I want a microbiologist, I'll mention microbiologist, but they also don't know what to write. So they're, they're mentioning as Python, a biologist who knows Python, a biologist who knows R, like that they're mentioning. Now, the biggest challenge my uh, kids, like students, are facing now is, okay, we have done the training at Biotechnica, but to get placed, I need some, uh, you know, interview training, right? So, Biotechnica's placement team has started the interview training and uh, soft skills training. From November uh, 10th onwards, you will start getting that. Now, having said that, many of you who are not enrolled into AIML and they want, you want to, you know, prepare for these kind of interviews, I don't want you to be left behind. So if you have interest in AIML, if you want to see what kind of questions will be asked for AIML in biology, right? So you can download this uh, interview kit, which we have mentioned in the description. 
and if you download this kit you will know how to become a researcher what all skills you need uh, what kind of questions can be asked in these uh, interviews and then what kind of designation what kind of salaries you can expect so there is a skill set checklist in this there is a detailed job role breakdown then we have mentioned the top interview questions and uh, mock interview guides and hr round tips also now apart from that there is salary inside like how much salary you can get and what kind of roles what kind of work you'll be doing you know when i was studying i always used to i'll not say hate lab but i used to feel that the lab is slow so if the lab is slow right so we we have to you know really uh, work in that direction and make it fast right and aiml does that right so why not learn it then why not uh, practice these interview questions and go ahead and download this uh, interview kit it's a ai machine learning in biology interview kit which bridges the gap between your knowledge and your dream job now some some of you have asked like what kind of companies are hiring now please understand that even if a big brand is hiring they will not take, take you they'll take someone who has at least one years of experience right so to solve that problem, you can always go for Biotechnica's AI MLN Biology training program. But if in case you have already taken the training, you can sit for the placements, right? So uh, you don't have to just register for the placement portal. You have to go and, you know, download the, I mean, uh, upload the, the, the CV and you have to constantly apply for the jobs which is coming in the placement portal. Now, having said that, there, there, there are cases where you are thinking, okay, somebody will give me a job in GSK or Biocon, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. Freshers will have to start from a smaller company, okay? And once you have gained experience, then only big companies will take you. So if somebody is thinking like, I will become chief minister of uh, Gujarat in one day or Karnataka in one day, I must say that you are mistaken. You are living a dream which will not materialize. So you have to understand this fact that the truth of biotech industry is there is plethora of job opportunities. But if you are getting started, you'll have to start from a smaller company. Now, small company doesn't mean they're bad. See, Biotechnica is a small company. Right? We are not Biocon. But we are, we are not bad. There are so many people working and they are empowering all of you, right? So what I feel is the time has come to download the interview kit and follow the instructions which is mentioned there. And of course, you can reach out to me at shaker at biotechnica.org or you can WhatsApp me at the link given below and you can also talk to our team as well. And in the meantime, uh, comment below if you have any questions and any doubts or anything more you want me to make a video on. But remember, just like how I made a mistake by hiring a Bollywood actor for biotech, it won't work right the same way hiring an IT person for a AIML in biology won't work you will have to learn it and you will have to implement it that's how success comes all the best